Hey, how's it guys? Uh, welcome to College Nathan Engineering with Pongani Gumele. So today we'll be doing uh, the direct online. It's very important for an electrician to know direct, uh, direct online. As you are busy preparing for your ARPL or busy preparing to do a trade test, you need to be able to do direct online. So what is direct online? First of all, direct online is uh, the ability to isolate your motor from the power supply. So the supply and uh, your motor must be isolated. Maybe when there's isol that isolation, uh, then that's a direct online. Direct online brings about the safety devices, the contactors and stuff. For example, if this is your motor, three phase motor, and then you have your supply line one, line two, line three. You see, this motor is, is not isolated from the supply. But immediately when I put now the contactors, the, uh, the stop buttons and everything, now it's a direct online. Direct online, it just, it makes our lives easy. Because of when you have a start button, now you can be able to start the motor, you can be able to stop the motor, you know, but if you just have a motor and a supply, for you to stop your motor, you have to go and take out those wires which can be dangerous and which can be costly because of if uh, you have overcurrent now, you can't protect your motor from overcurrent when it's not direct online. Direct online is the overload release immediately when there's overcurrent, your motor stop running. But if you have overcurrent and your motor is not isolated from the power supply, now your motor keeps on running and it's being damaged, so you'll have to buy a new motor every now and then. So this is how your direct online is. This is your main circuit and there I will draw the control circuit. And then the first thing that we'll have is your three pole circuit breaker. These are your supply. And then we're going to have a circuit breaker here. A three pole circuit breaker. Then you can see three pole circuit breaker and then now we're introducing a contact and you can see coil one or contact and then we introduce the overload now And then you'll have your motor, which will be connected in star. Yeah, overload. Uh, let me write it here so that we can have space. Overload. Yeah. So you have your triple circuit breaker, you have your contactor, you have your overload, you have your motor now. Yeah, so now your, your motor is isolated from the supply. And now your motor is, is, is also protected because of you have uh, the safety devices. So now I'll draw the control circuit. And on your control circuit, we will have the 95 and 96, 95, 96 of the overload. And then you'll have your emergency stop button, uh, ES. And then you have your stop button, stop one or stop button. And then you'll have your start button. Direct online is straightforward. Then normally open of K1, K1, uh, K1. You have your A1, A2. Yeah. And then there's one thing that uh, you have to keep in mind. When you take power for, for the control circuit, you'll take it this side, on one of the lines. Okay, yeah. 
you will take it on one of the lines. But now, remember, uh, uh, we are taking power for the control circuit. We take it after the circuit breaker, not before. This is your circuit breaker. You don't take it before your circuit breaker. You don't take your your 90. Uh, you don't put this 95 uh, connected here. No, that's absolutely wrong. You put it after the circuit breaker. So your line three, you put it on line three, but after the circuit breaker. And then when you connect your A2, if the rating of your contactor, if rating of contactor is 220 volts, it means that you will return this to your neutral. So you will introduce a neutral. Then your neutral comes here. That's because of the rating of the contactor is 220 volts. But from uh, uh, for, from uh, 400 volts, if the contactor rating is 400 volts, then now you no longer connect your A2 on the neutral. You connect it on one of the lines. Okay? But you are not allowed to connect your A2 on the same line that you connect your control on. So you can either con connect it on line 2 or line 1, but not on line 3. Yeah. So that's it about the direct online. So now you have uh, the safety devices. Uh, you can say start button. Start button, and this one will be 13, and this one will be 14, your 3 and your 4, uh, your 1 and 2, and you have your in and out. So that's it about direct online. That's how you draw your direct online, and it works in such a way that when you press your start button, the coil energizes, and when the coil energizes, the contact close, uh, instead of becoming normally open, now they become normally closed. Then you move to now can run. So that's it about the direct online. Uh, immediately when you know how to draw a direct online and you understand the operation of direct online, then it will be simple for you to master all the sequences. From direct online, you have emergency stop, stop button, then your start button, then straight uh, to your coin. And that's it. the most important part is just to understand that when the rating of the contactor is 400 volts upwards, that's when you connect on one of the lines, your A2. But if it's 200, uh, 220 volts, that's when you connect it to the neutral. So that's it about uh, direct online. Now your motor is isolated and now your motor is safe. Your motor is safe from uh, over current. Your motor is safe from if, let's say, one of the lines uh, there's no supply from one of the lines your motor uh, will stop you know there are a lot of things that uh, a lot of advantages that uh, your joe l does so yeah that's it let's meet on the next video thank you